Hi guys, welcome back to the Studentship YouTube channel. Today I'm here live at the University of Nigeria. I'll be going around asking students, you know, information about their course of study. I can show you that you are going to find this video helpful. So make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel. Uh, good afternoon, guys. Yeah, good afternoon. Uh, the name and department. Okay, my name is Mwafo um, Nemeka Wilfred. Okay, nice to meet you. What about you? Okay, my name is Godson Nailugo. Okay, so uh, you guys are students of mechanical engineering. Yes. Yeah, so uh, what is like mechanical engineering? What is, what is the course about? Okay, mechanical engineering, in simplest form, just um, how um, machines get to work. Okay. Um, will I say, they can be automated, okay. but then just how major the motions of those machines. Yeah. Okay. That's what I can say. In its simplest form, okay. like elements from here. Okay. So, uh, why did you decide to study mechanical engineering? Okay. Initially, I wanted to do electrical electronics, but when I discovered that UNN doesn't offer both of them, so I was like, okay, let me find something that will actually cover everything. Okay. So, mechanical engineering actually covers everything. Okay. All the engineering, you get to study it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Touch a little bit of it on everywhere. So that was why I chose mechanical engineering. Wow. So for like for me, I have this perception that mechanical engineering is a very difficult like course to study. It's a five years course, right? Yes, it is. So uh, I want to ask, like, can an average student in let's say physics, uh, mathematics from secondary school, like, can that category of students study mechanical engineering? Yes, I believe anybody can do that. It's not as it's hard. It's a hard course, true, okay. and it can be stressful. But then it's not um, impossible to do. So there's anybody, absolutely anybody, can do it. Okay. It's just I think it has to do with your interest first off, and then you put in effort okay. to work. Yeah. Do you agree with what you said? Yes, I do. So what if you have a average background in physics and mathematics, no calculation stuff? Because I think engineering mostly do it calculation. Because me, I ran away from engineering because of mathematics and stuff. So you think an average student in those uh, kind of courses can study mechanical engineering? Okay, an average student without mathematics knowledge or with little mathematics. You know, there are some students that, you know, from secondary school, they did not get a very good background of these calculation courses. There are some schools, they don't even do calculus in secondary school. So you think such category of students can study this course? Of course, just that the person has to like put in more effort, okay. be more committed, okay. because the course is not really easy. It won't give you space to do other things. Okay. So you have to like know that I don't really have much knowledge on this thing, okay. so I have to put in more effort to learn. That's just it. Okay. So uh, talking about getting admission, like what what jam score did you get in your jam you know, to gain admission to this lucrative course? Okay, in my jam I scored um, two ninety. Wow. But then during the post me, okay. I thought it would just be like, let me use the word chase, like you know. <laughs> then <laughs> I got um, 200 in, in the post me, and that was like very low. But then the cutoff for the department was lower than my average. So okay. that was how I was able to. Oh, so that means you probably you need to get a high jump score, you know. Yes, you need to get a high jump score. But then not as high as those studying medicine. Okay. I think 250 is still good. But then your positive, I mean, you know, it will be averaged. Okay. So, like, what I mean is they'll combine both results mm. and then divide it. So you need to score a good good score in JAM, yeah. good score in positive, I mean, and then you'll be able to gain admission. Okay, thank you. So how would you describe a typical day of a mechanical engineering student? Is it just classes or you have time for other extracurricular activities? Okay, it depends on the level. Okay. Okay, year one, year two, they don't really have much work in mechanical engineering. Okay. So from third year, you still have time for yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can still do other things. Fourth year, they'll be going for IT, so they combine both semesters, okay. first and second. So they, I think they do like 10 courses in one semester very stressful mm. they won't have time for themselves at all oh. then final year is very free you have just five courses and okay. you can do anything you want to do oh. so uh, students in this department can they like engage is there enough free time to engage in order like let's say side also you know to gain money uh, get money as students okay there is free time okay yes i'll say there's free time especially from first year to like third year, third year. yes there's always free time but it is that 
we don't really know until like those three time has been wasted. <laughs> it's just later on you discover <laughs> okay. that you have so many times that just yeah, went yeah, away yeah. like that. But it's always free time. Wow, wow. So is there any like memorable experience throughout from your first year to your final year? Maybe there was a particular challenging course, or something memorable you want to like share? Okay, so there's this course. It starts from your third year. Mm -hmm. You do it to fourth year, five, final year. So in third year we did the course three five one. Yeah. Um, mechanics of fluid. Oh. So in the course, the lecturer is very disciplined. Should I say strict? Not really. It's so <laughs> he's very disciplined. So you can't come to the class when he's already inside the class. Oh. And there are some things that if you do to him and he's upset, mm. you just he just flares up and that's it. I think in my third year I lost like 11 marks because I was <laughs> I was late for his yeah, test. Serious. So. All those things, I, it's hard for me to forget it. Because okay, okay. in fourth year, too, we did the same thing. We were literally begging him okay, okay. not to fail us. Yeah, so yeah. it's one of the things that makes it memorable. <laughs> wow. any, any experience you want to share? Eh? Okay. Um, yeah, there's, there are tough courses, sure. Yeah. Yeah. One I know that is popular among us <laughs> is uh, thermodynamics. thermodynamics. And that was a brutal one because mm. I, I actually failed it. Mm. So, yes, and there were other ones too that were challenging. Well, 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 at least you're able to like you know retake the course and you passed. Yes, I retook some of them. There are some that I'm yet to still write. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so, so uh, the last question, so I can allow you guys to go. As a final student of mechanical engineering, what advice do you have for a student that is aspiring, you know, through jam to study the same course? Okay. Um, first, I want to appreciate you guys for doing this course. Out. I was actually thinking, and I was like, if only they tell students mm. what they are about to face yes. before they come. I think most students won't have applied for the course that they want to apply. Okay. So my advice to people that want to write the mechanical engineering, don't study mechanical engineering yeah. is, it's not child's play. Mm. It's not. There's no course that is easy in, in a university, university, but there are some courses that are very hard, and MEC is one of it. Yeah, more demanding. Yes, very demanding. You don't come to MEC and expect to be doing what someone in theater art is doing. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. don't have time for yourself. You have to like really make sure that you know how to manage your time okay. and study, study okay. very hard. I also preach, yeah, because sometimes you study and <laughs> you don't get to see what that's you want. <laughs> so, so that's just it. Okay, thank you. So what advice do you have? Okay. One, what I would like to say is, um, first, know what you want to do. Okay. Yeah, and then, because, okay, I'll use, let me just uh, chip in some things. Because I've always struggled with what I want to be. Mm -hmm. And then I didn't really know what I was coming here to face. So just <laughs> mechanical engineering, yeah, yeah. this will make sense. And mm -hmm. then just enter. And then when you enter, you just see that you just keep struggling. Okay. Not that you are dull, no. But then you keep struggling and keep struggling. So I'll say first, know what you want to do. Okay. And then your whole purpose should not just be um, you are coming here to smash, like have excellent grades. No, that's that's um, that's a priority. But then it should not just be the whole purpose. There's a whole lot to life. There are people to meet. There are um, let me use the word connections to make. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and that's what we really count in life. Not even your, not even your excellence. Yeah, yes. Yeah, not your even your excellence. Party, yeah. So first, you know what you want to do, and then it will not just stop there. You have to put in the effort. Okay. Yeah. So that, that, that. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. So that will be all. Thank you guys for you know this uh, avenue. I really appreciate. It. All right. Yeah. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.